Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, welcome to a new episode from Mac the Tech. If you are a fan of technology, mobile phones, iPads, watches, Macs, or Windows, softwares, business analytics, data analytics, please consider subscribing as I expect such content will be to your liking or you will like such content provided in this channel. Please consider to press the bell icon to receive notification as soon as I post something new into this channel. Like and share the episode with, you all, with all your friends and write to me in the comments if such content is to your liking or not. In each episode, I will leave a link up for the episode in Arabic version as well in the description below. Without further ado, let's jump into this episode. On the computer, and to begin with the end in mind and to show you what are we planning to do for today. So let's start with this animation and see it in action how it is working. Now, once we click the mouse here, you can see immediately click on the link and you can see this flashing arrow into this link. At the same time, I'm showing you here a spinner on the videos to show the importance of this once you visit my YouTube channel. So how did I do that? And how I reached this type of animation that is catchy to the eye at the same time you can do it in a very impressive way for so many different things to highlight important things on your slide. So to show you how to do this, all we have to do, we jump into a clean slide where we don't have such animation and we bring a very small shapes. So let's bring a circle shape and put it on here. You can decide whatever you want in terms of shape, but all you have to do is Ctrl D to duplicate the object and then you can shift and bring the dragger into the middle, you have a better, smaller shape. All you have to do now is align the shape, center and align it middle. After that, we stay in the shape format and we go to merge shapes and we combine them. Once you combine them, you notice that the shape changed into an empty inside the middle and this way you have like a donut style shape. This is a very nice shape because it animates in a very nice way. So let's go to the animation now. Of course, in the animation, you can see that I have the animation pane turned on. If you turn it off, you can see that there will be no animation pane. Click it on. This is the animation pane where all your animations are taking place. So for this particular animation, I'm going to stick to uh, spinner for the entrance. So I'm going to go with spinner because it goes very nicely with the, uh, with the uh, emphasis on the animation. So as, as you can see, the spinner is there. I start with previous. I don't want it to start with the... And I click on the animation again, and then I add an animation, which is an emphasis. And I add a spin. Of course, after I add a spin, I go start with previous, double click on it, go to timing, and I select to repeat it 10 times. And you can repeat it more than that if you want. I click here and you can see it's immediately swiveling in a very nice way showing you the importance of clicking on this link. After that, I take this very same object and I do a control D on it. Once I do a control D, I can have it on the videos over here. Make it smaller with the shift so that it can preserve its elliptical shape, not a full circle. Otherwise, you will not see the spin. After that, I insert a rectangle or a square. So take, for example, a rectangle, put it here. You do click on the first object, this circle, then the second object, the rectangle, and you do a subtract. Once you subtract, you see this very nice shape this way. You do another one now on the bottom. At the same time, you click on the first shape, then the second shape, and you do another subtract. You can see now you have a very nice freeform object, but you lost the animation. So now to get this animation, we go back to the animation pane or the animation. We add an animation, which is an emphasis spin. You start it with the previous and double click on it. Go to timing, add 10 repeats. Here you go. Now, if I want to see this animation, all I have to do, click the mouse, you'll see the animation in a very nice way. Hope that you liked this video and benefited from the information presented in this episode. Do not forget to subscribe if such content is to your liking. See you in the next episode.
Adios, amigos. Salam.